Hey guys, it's Coach Damon. We get a lot of questions about how can you work on your shot without a hoop and at your house. Now a lot of you want to spend time at home in your bedroom or in your basement working on your game, but obviously that's not somewhere where you can actually have a hoop so you can't work on your shot. It may be difficult to work on game moves, attacking downhill, anything like that, but you can still become a better player. You can still work on tiny micro skill aspects of your game, even with very, very minimal space. So today we're gonna to bring you through an entire series where you can work on your shot, you can work on your mechanics while you are in your bedroom or while you are downstairs, where all you're gonna need is a chair and a tiny little bit of space to work with. So we're gonna start very simply, and in his chair, all he's gonna do is he's gonna have the ball in his shooter's pocket, he's gonna shoot, and he's gonna hold his follow through until he catches the ball with his off hand. So he's here, he falls through, elbow above his eyes, and he's gonna catch. Now our focal point here is to work on our follow through. A lot of guys struggle with their follow through and they drop it too quickly or it's side to side. So as he follows through and watch with his shot, he's gonna hold it when he catches, he's gonna give himself constant feedback, making sure every time that he's following through the exact same way. So it's almost like he's doing a deep dive or an analysis of his own follow through. So every catch, he's seeing that with him, it's that middle finger. Or every time it's middle finger down, catch. He's making sure it's there. He's analyzing that follow through. Let's get five more and catch. Seeing that follow through, seeing what it looks like every single time. Last one, great catch. A lot of times the biggest distraction for shooters or guys who are trying to become great shooters is the basket. If you're trying to work on your mechanics and you get in the gym, a lot of times it becomes very easy to only worry about whether the shot goes in regardless of whether or not your mechanics are correct. By working on a drill like this, your mechanics are the only thing that you can do so that you have to make sure in that analysis that they are correct. So now we're here. We're going two hands, catch, and that catch is gonna be getting right back into his shot pocket. So we're repping out, shot, and then catch. He's gonna have a split second hold, shot, and when he catches it, it's quickly gonna to get to that shot pocket. So it's here, shot pocket. Here, quick to the shot pocket. Here, quick to the shot pocket. Great job, quick to the shot pocket. Great job, and what we wanna to try to avoid right now is shooting it in front and then just looping it back. When I catch it, I'm pulling it to my shot pocket. I don't wanna shoot and let it fall. It's shot, catch, shot pocket. Here we go, shot pocket, great job. Shot pocket, there it is. Great job, great job. When you catch the ball in the game, you're catching it and getting into that pocket as quickly as you can. You're not letting it get all the way here and just catching it in that pocket. So here we're working on catching it and getting it into that pocket. Now our next drill in the series, you're gonna to wanna to do in the basement or somewhere with the hardwood floor. And all you're gonna do is dribble and we're gonna work on our pickups straight into the same shot that we started with. So our focus is our pickup and doing an analysis of that follow through, making sure that if we do one dribble pull up, so we do anything with the move and a pickup, that doesn't affect our follow through. So we're here, two, pick up. Still wanna catch with that off hand. Here, catches off hand, sticks that follow through. One, two, pick up. Catches, there we go, great job. Let's get two more. Great job, there it is, last one. Great work. Now the very last one in the series is we're gonna slide up on the edge of the chair and we're either gonna go underneath our legs, simulating it behind the back, or you can go through your legs, similar to between the legs. And we're gonna to build to the final stage of that series where it's pick up out of a move, shot, stick the follow through, catch with your off hand. He's gonna do two each way, pick up, stick it. Yep, move, pick up, stick it. Great job, move, pick up, Get one more, sticking that follow through, catching it off hand. Great job. Now in each of those, the focal points are those tiny little micro skills. We wanna work on our follow through. Well, let's shoot and look at our follow through every single time. We wanna work on our pickup and make sure that doesn't impact the follow through after the pickup. It's the exact same thing. So while you may not be able to get shots up at the basket, you may not be able to go hard and work up a tremendous sweat, Work like this can be tremendously beneficial if you're limited on space, you're trying to get in a little bit of work, and you're on that path to becoming an elite shooter. My playing level just skyrocketed. Anyone that's serious about playing basketball needs to get EGT. I would describe it as the best training program in the world. This elite guard training program, like, it creates a monster in you. 
you got experience it. It's just on another level. The best decision in my life was to buy the first EGT program.